I'm sitting here searching, seeking my old video presentations to you all because I know it's in there. It's one of the ones I shared with all of you. Um, or any of you that are WTF Skies followers, if you in particular know the one that I'm reaching out for that particular heartfelt segment that I am referencing, I would appreciate it if you share that link with me. Because I cannot find it right at this moment. I can't. I'm searching and I, I, I can't find it. And I think ultimately, God, it's hard to even take myself serious when I look at myself at the camera right now. Yeah, i not going to go there. But you, you see why I can't take myself serious, right? I'm kind of cute with all these, we'll, we'll just call these scars and battle wounds, right? Okay, it is what it is. Okay, I'm going to try not to get too bent over that. But it does still hurt and afflict and uh, hurt me. Okay, but back to the subject hand. I so monumentally want to share with you guys. Because if any of you remember, I shared this link with you guys. And I I was so appreciative, in fact, of Marty's um, special heartfelt delivery of this message upon the wife that uh, submitted and requested for Madi to share this message from her husband who was a family oriented man that um, lost his self and protecting his, protecting his family virtually or I say virtually I live in such a virtual la la land sometimes I can't get past that and separate the two I mean, in all reality, he had a wife, he had a child. He was a protective family man, and in his prepping and his love for his family, and his allowance of the fear to plan X, the heartfelt message that Madi delivered to share with his, with, share with us exactly what. Fear form can do in your life should you allow it. She shared that heartfelt delivery with us. Being an anonymous request to the wife who lost the husband ultimately. And so this is something guys that I want to point out to you all because you know I too found myself lost in that moment temporarily. Temporarily until I started understanding my spirituality. I found myself there too. It's so easy to get wrapped up in all that, isn't it? But